A delivery driver is temporarily out of a job after he says two teenagers stole his car. We pulled their criminal histories and learned this is not the first time these two have been in trouble with the law. As News 2's T Sarah Smith tells us, the problem of repeat offenders has community leaders frustrated. Terry Franklin still worries about his safety. Now I don't feel safe. I, I feel very, uh, I'm scared. I hate to say that, but like I, I am, I'm, I'm afraid. He's an Instacart delivery driver and his car stolen last Thursday. I jumped up, I went downstairs, I, I threw on my robe and whatever other items I could find to put on. And my car was parked here and well, was parked here. But when I came out those steps, I didn't see my car anymore. The car parked and locked outside his Antioch townhome, now gone. I felt violated. It was definitely like something in the pit of my stomach that just did not feel well. Like, I don't know what to do in this situation. Franklin needs the car for his job. So I make my living. That's, that's, that's how I afford, that's how I afford the vehicle, that's how I afford to stay where I live, that's how I afford to eat. Monday, Franklin says he and police tracked his car to a soccer facility off Antioch Pike. After a short pursuit, Franklin says police arrested Thierry Bewinge and Omar Diaw for the crime. Court records show they've already posted bond. It's also not the first time these two have committed a similar crime. A check of their criminal histories shows multiple charges related to multiple cases over the last year. Councilmember Joy Stiles, who represents the Antioch area, says something needs to be done. People get arrested, they've committed a crime, they've committed a crime. So what we need to do is hold on to them until we can make a decision on what their punishment is going to be. As for Franklin's car, he says it's probably totaled. He says his townhome complex doesn't have security cameras. Bob and Haley, 